your signs of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. Uh, this is going to be for um, any time that you feel like this resonates with you. So I'm not putting a specific time uh, limit or on anything. I'm not doing a special time limit. So let's get started, Taurus. We're going to do something unconventional today. We're going to do a Celtic Cross general reading with Oracle cards called... The Life Intuitive Coaching Oracle. Life Coaching Oracle. Yeah, Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for your likes, shares, comments. If you want a private reading, just check out the description box below how to get that. So, let's get started. Let's shuffle a little bit here and we'll cut it and get started. Even though that's probably your issue card. Give me more time. This is the challenge for you, Taurus. This is the root or heart of the matter. This is your past influence. This is your present influence. This is your near future, how you are feeling, your external environment, hopes and fears, and then a projected outcome for you. Uh, there's your outcome. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to, I wanted to turn it over for some reason. So asking for your spirit guides and angels to help us interpret these as they relate to you. And then we'll use... Um, We'll also use tarot at the end of the reading to clarify anything. So here we go. Old habits is the issue. Old habits. An old habit may be keeping you from moving forward. An old habit might be keeping you from moving forward. Metamorphosis is the challenge. Like the caterpillar that emerges from its cocoon, you are about to get your wings. Like a caterpillar that emerges from its cocoon, you are about to get your wings. Old soul has come out a lot, probably for three other signs. Uh, old soul, you have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. Check out Cryon, K-R-Y-O-N, uh, channelings about the old soul. That would provide a lot of information for you. Past, we have perception. You are getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. And this happened in the past. A switch in perception, it changed everything. Present circumstance. Oh, nice, guys. I've never seen this one. Hidden treasure. Hidden treasure. And that looks like a little door for it. That's really pretty. Um, you have a brilliant untapped potential just waiting to be explored. Taurus, I think this has something to do with energy healing. I'm just going to throw that out there. I feel like it has to do with working with energy and it's healing. Um, <clears throat> near future, wishful thinking. You are learning how to manifest the life that you desire. Meaning that the energy is here to support you for your highest good and make any wishes come true if they're coming from a good place. Especially if it blesses others, then you will be blessed yourself. Speaking up is how you feel. So maybe feeling like voicing your opinion, talking a little bit more. Your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Speaking up, your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Okay, the external situation, 74 or 11, master number 11, increase. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. And hopes and fears, the earth shifts. You are very connected to Mother Earth, and as such, you experience all that she does. You may be able to fill cycles, especially with the weather and um, flower seasons. You may be able to fill when something is off with Mother Earth, too. So it says you're very connected to Mother Earth, and as so, you experience everything she does. So it, you probably feel it very close to your heart when something's going wrong, right? 44, synchronicities is the projected outcome. Allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you to a new direction. 
allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you to a new direction. How lovely. All right, Taurus, let's get the tarot and see what it wants to add to your reading. Really good reading, though. That's kind of way too much. Coming out of broken heart feeling, that's good. Coming out of feeling betrayed, wishful thinking. Um, we have Knight of Cups, so it's like whatever offer you feel like might be wishful thinking, it might come in as an offer of love from the universe or someone around you that might be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be indicating a new job, a new start in a relationship. It's something that's a genuine offer. The hangman energy here with the old soul makes me feel like your old soul has been waiting for a long time to go through this process. Queen of Wands. Wow. Bold, fiery. Um, that's Virgo. This could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This person is really uh, putting their talent on front and center stage for everybody to see. And they're all inspired as they watch her as she's mastered whatever it is this skill is. And she has the guts and the boldness to her to share it. Put herself out there. Risk, um, risking feeling vulnerable. Yeah, Queen of Wands, great, great character. Especially for being bold. Ace of Pentacles, wow, yeah, hidden treasure. This is definitely this now time, untapped, uh, brilliant untapped potential waiting to be, you know, waiting for you to jump through the opportunity. Ah, oh, look at that. And then Nine of Pentacles and the Magician Taurus. I couldn't ask for a better reading for you. This is part of your metamorphosis. Complete independence and no codependent on anybody. You might still be in a relationship with this. That doesn't really mean anything, but it does mean that you'll be independent, able to take care of yourself, maybe have luxury items, financial windfall, maybe inheritance or winning of some sort. And I feel like it's something that you are going to manifest. And it may be involved with like a wish come true, wishful thinking. All right, let's see what angel wants to work with you, Taurus, or what angel are you already working with? For Taurus, please. I've not seen, well, that's a good one. That's really good. Whew. Okay, so let me read this to you. Let me find it, and then I'll read it to you. Seraphim, Seraphina. Seraphim, Seraphima. Let me look. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is a really good card. You see the scrolls in her arm. To me, I immediately think wisdom when I see that. All right. So this says, tune into divine will and open up to a higher illumination. Uh, this uh, Seraphim, Seraphiel is a 12 dimensional angel that shimmers with many colors um, but truthfully has both the masculine and feminine aspects. They're just in perfect equilibrium. Uh, he lights up the light that this angel offers offers healing on every level. They can dramatically open heart chakras by sending a finger of light to touch them. People and communities that Seraphiel is influencing are starting to experience pure happiness and an inner peace that no one has done since the golden era of Atlantis. So when this angel comes to you, they are inviting you to step up to your light. Imagine what your life would be like if you opened your heart completely and then act as if it's fully open. And when you do so, this angel will bring you inner peace, happiness, healing, abundance, and love. Tune into your higher self. Wow, that's a really good card. All right, let's do ask angels. Ask the angels, Taurus. Let's go ahead and ask our first question, yes or no, for your angels to answer. First question, Taurus, yes or no. No need to worry. No need to worry. Second question. Uh, 
unlikely. Something that's unlikely. Third question, please. Yes or no? For Taurus. In the near future. In the near future, Taurus. All right, let's do some tea leaves for you, too, and then we're going to close out your reading, okay? Thank you for joining me, by the way. Again, <laughs> I can't say thank you enough. Let's see. Woo! Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Ear, good news. That's great bull there you are do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude let's do six for harmony here and peace dogs getting together with friends and one more mountain a major challenge to overcome and you sure you sure will though have this great manifesting energy and this angel that wants to work with you i don't see it failing really if you want it to succeed it will so thanks guys sending you light and love um enjoy your days or whenever you apply this reading